from Life with Satch. I am in my office again. Now that it's being set up, I'll probably be filming in here quite often because the lighting in here is great because there's a window here, a window here, and a window over here. Today's video is actually suggested by Hayley, my niece, and that is my finished wreck this journal. So I actually finished this. When did I finish this? Oh, I didn't actually write it in. Anyway, I finished it last year. And as you see, it's got quite fat. Oh, I'm gonna also do a short video. Um, I'll include the link here. And let's get started. So this is the cover of my reckless journal. Um, I've just used scrapbooking paper and I am turning the pages from the top because I didn't think about filming it upside down and flipping it. So this is just a frog because I asked my sister what I should draw and that's what she said. This page I stuck buttons onto to give it texture and I didn't like how I wrote the first time so I just rewrote it on a pink piece of paper and stuck it inside in the rest of scrapbook paper. Uh, this one I went for a rainbow theme and I stuck the pink paper on the side just to give it, make it slightly more interesting. Here I drew in a few materials. I've seen a few other people do that and I thought it was really cute so I did it myself. And some page numbers, more rainbow, crack the spine, just drew some cracks, kind of looks like my house. On this page, because I don't actually drink coffee, I dropped some tea on there and then I drew my teacup and my little quote and coloured that in with crayons. Another quote off Pinterest. I used acrylic for this page and a few other pages, but the problem was they got stuck together. And yeah, a few of the pages ripped away, but I guess it's a wreck the journal, so you can't go wrong. Zebra for fat and thin lines, some thin lines on the drawing of the zebra. Uh, I don't really like this page. Did some fingerprints and tried to turn them into like animals and people, and my handprint didn't turn out how I thought it would. And my Lion King page, I love the Lion King, so obviously this page was gonna be Lion King one, so I drew them in throw something, I think I threw a bouncy ball and then on the other page, on the left hand side I just put my fingerprints in just to tie it together these are just random bits of nature that I found and I've documented where I found them and when so some of the flowers have kept their colour really well actually this page I just scratched in a picture and I drew a cat oh now you're going backwards Rachel, what are you doing there we go so this is where I rubbed on like leaves and coins and stuff behind it. Didn't really turn out how I expected, but the coins don't look too bad. The leaves on the other hand. This is scribble violently and I just drew the mermaid and then I just scribbled like roughly where here would be and I just scribbled below like all over the page. So that was quite fun. Another quote from Pinterest, obviously I'm into my quotes, and I coloured that with watercolour, and then that's the picture underneath the glue this page together, and I did rainbows and stars there to match the quote, so I like that page actually. This one, I was in a car on a bus or walking, I did copy this idea, as you'll see there's a few ideas that I kind of got inspiration of other people. Um, I tried to do a picture, but it didn't really turn out. It's like lupins and hills and stuff. Pizza, I rubbed my pizza all over it, and then I drew a picture of it. Pretty gross, but at least the page didn't go mouldy. An apple, and that little chunk in the middle I ripped out and chewed on, and I just put a bit of paper on the other side so there wasn't a hole that was going to get bigger. My paper aeroplane, which I just coloured in with felt and did some dots on. I made a little pocket to put it in so I didn't lose it. The tongue painting I did with cherries actually. And Jess did it as well, because she's got a journal. And for some reason hers turned up blue and mine turned up purple. So it must be just something to do about like saliva or something really weird like that. And I tried to do it in the circle, but I just got debris, so I just looked the whole page in the end. Which was a really strange sensation, looking a book. I chose Disney for this one because I love Disney and I kind of found a picture online and copied like the outline, drew the outline in here and then I just wrote Disney all through it. 
froze this page, I froze that page and then I stuck it back in and some of the belts kind of blurred a bit which I thought was quite a cool effect. The string is the blue string at the top for swinging. This one I picked up with my feet and I drew a picture of me and Poppy. For this one I did cotton bug clouds and it's not as tragic as it looks. People are like, why did you draw a bomb? It's not a bomb, it's the book. I did not think about this, it looks really tragic. I'm not bombing the cities. This, I just stuck flower petals in and some of them kept their colour but the, most of them lost it. There's like a little bit of like staining on this page from the flower petals but I drew an ugly llama here and wrote another quote and painted it. This I just stuck stickers over, I know quite a few people have done that so I just went with that one. Lots of cat stickers because I really love cats. A bit of doodling here. And I coloured them with felts. And that's just a bit of scrapbook paper on the left hand side. And my paper chain. And my fruit stickers, which took forever to collect. And I drew like random little fruits hidden in there. It's like find the fruits, really. This is just like post it notes, staples, stickers. Um, made a design with some of them. This I took this in a rain shower. And. I did it with like watercolour paint but it didn't really change it that much. Here's my funnel and my little pocket to keep it in and the water tasted like gross, like paper. But yep, that's kept in there and the string I took it for a walk with is attached, which I didn't actually pull it up but anyway. Here is my testing page. I dripped paint there and then I closed the book like you do in kindergarten and I opened it up again and that was the effect so I thought that was quite cute. Here is my sew this page, I sewed a cat toy with a cat looking at it, I need to play with it. Newspaper, I just stuck random newspaper in here. Receipts, well it says grocery lists but I just chucked receipts and I started with like a grocery receipt and then added other ones. And stamps and little frames. I did steal that idea, that's not my idea that one. Tracing around some of my things and I coloured them in, did my phone, my keys, my lip balm. White things, I even stuck a crayon on a pencil one just because. Tissues and all sorts. Uh, this one I just scribbled like everywhere. And I don't really like this page, it's a bit ugly really to be honest. And I made a little mini wreck this journal. I don't like the painting, but I thought the journal turned out quite cute. Some of the pages I'm going to redo them all, but I haven't done them all yet obviously. You can see some of them are still not done. Others are done up with the same as on the book. So I guess you could say this page isn't quite finished, but you know, you get the idea wrap this page. I actually can't remember what I actually wrapped in there in the end but I guess we'll never know. So I'm not going to unwrap it. And some quotes, good thoughts. I don't really like the colours I've used in this page. It looks quite washed out. So this is another one of those pages. I used a mushroom and I made prints but the pages got stuck together and ripped because I used acrylic. Got a friend to do that and he drew a viking because he thought it would be quite destructive in some like rockets or something. Um, just random objects, including Christmas, bits and pieces, I put where I found them too. Tear this page out, I put that in the washing machine and that's how it came out, I quite like the effect. This is another one where it ripped but it smells like this page smells amazing. Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck perfume. Um, I just did like an African scene here with a little elephant, as you can see. Elephant, elephant, not elephant. And some flowers. I connected the dots with my eyebrows and I made it into a picture. Oh, I haven't quite finished that page actually. I need to get some more people to draw in there. But you get the idea. Pocket lint. Most of this has actually come off, but it was like fluff from the carpet, which is pretty gross, but I didn't have anything in my pocket. Um, I wish I'd have put the glitter in the middle, but I like the hands. Draw with glue, did glitter glue designs. 
this is just like stickers and belts and like stationary stuff really and I just put it into colours this was about a really boring day at uni and I just I think I wrote it at uni actually sat in like uni writing about how bored I was this is made up with my hair and I made them into buntings so I've got two strands in there I like how that page turned out I hate this page but anyway that was a picture of me I hated and then I had like a top hat and a moustache and a cat and fucking stuff um this is different utensils toothbrush a comb and I used a cush ball I drew a really simple picture on my left hand so it wasn't too bad something you can't really go wrong on with the grass and trees find a way to wear this journal I just chucked it on my head and then I drew a picture of me wearing it on my head and this one I tried to do that effect where it looks kind of 3D it didn't really work like it doesn't look a little bit but I don't know I don't think I did something right non-stop line I did that I don't yeah, it looks messy. I really like this page and I put another quote in and drew my little Nutella jar so I was happy with that one this one didn't smear as well as I would have liked but you can only try this one I copied online I wish I did less coloured pencils because the coloured pencils just kind of look quite drained um I just circled some words that I liked and stuck a cat and a bunting on the other page. This one I did with the pen in my mouth and then I kind of went over it and then I just like painted the background. This one's the one I gave away to Jess and I gave her the Lion King page. Well, I certified the ownership rather than actually taking it out of the book. Team books and fuzzy socks right backwards coloured it in this one I did copy an idea but I kind of changed it slightly so I wasn't completely copying it and that's from Frozen this one I put my thoughts and thinking bubbles and you can see that I've made a mistake on the other page because I've just stuck paper over the top so I don't remember what that was about but there we go this page I floated in my sink and I scrubbed the other page with an eraser or a rubber whatever you call it just did lots of cats there because it wasn't really a specific thing and I did hide my message in there that's a quote from Alice in Wonderland and I tried to draw her but it wasn't the best but you know I crumpled that and I was like I made it wet. I can't remember what I did with that page and I just drew a picture over the top. Uh, some ways to wreck the journal. Just a list there. Stain log. I just used nail polish and did some different designs with them. Got some glitter, some lines, some dots. Doodle over the top. I did the little mermaid and just drew some bubbles. As a kid I loved Rugrats so I had to dedicate a Rugrats page and I attached them together with a bit of string from the balloon and put, oh, I put a balloon, like cotton bud or something. This page I rubbed it on the car and it transferred to the next page. I filled this with W's. Um, you can probably tell that some of them are actually M's but I wasn't going to sit there all day cutting out W's. Some dead bugs I just cut off some butterflies from my calendar which were pretending to be like pinned up jump on this page of pencils made some rainbows there's a few rainbows in this book actually and this page I actually hid in a neighbour's yard when we were camping and it rained that night so all the colours smeared this page I sold for a coin in a paper no not a paper clip oh, what's it called a bobby pin so 10 cents but I didn't actually take it out this page I just drew my shoe rather than actually turning it into a shoe I mean it is a kind of a shoe now and then I just slid that down the hallway not much really happened to it 
this one I melted crayons over like a lighter and then I just put little dots on the wax dots so some of the petals have gone um, this one's like ice blocks I think I squirted on just tea and other liquid I got so excited about the Christmas tape here and I stuck it all over and unfortunately the other side of the page leaked through because I used felt and watercolour not a good mix and there I painted my nails and just drew my feet at the beach and that is the end of the book and we are back at the start